I know what's the toy world. This is our Ballard enclosed suctioning system for our tracheostomy tubes. So the patient would be, of course, um, trait. This Ballard is for closed suctioning. We have our open suctions as well, but this is for closed suctioning. You can tell because it has a shorter line than um, the other closed ballers. The uh, other closed ballers we have will probably be about double in length because it goes into the endotracheal tube. So this is the tracheostomy baller. You see this black indentation here. Sometimes you may see a left in this window which will be including the patient's airway for the most part. So you may get high peak pressures when you see this here. So make sure it's out into this window. Uh, this will be going to the tracheostomy tube directly to the patient. This goes to the corrugated tubing, the wide tubing to the patient. This goes to our vacuum suction. So this piece wouldn't be here, but this will be connected to our vacuum suction. This piece here, you press in order to activate the suctioner. Most times I do, I pass the catheter through. And as I'm pulling out, I'm pushing the vacuum um, activation button and suctioning while I'm going out. You don't want to be in the patient's airway for no longer than 10 seconds, they say. Um, and you want to hyper oxygenate the patient while you're doing this. So you'll push 100% on the ventilator advance the catheter until you meet some resistance or you just get you know pretty much down back of the carina press the button while you slowly withdrawing it through the patient's airway through the trachea back through the trachea it seems like um i get more effective suction in this way so i usually do some people pass the catheter down suction and then pull it out, but I think it's more effective to keep the suction um, pressed while you're removing, you know, removing the tube out the patient's airway and suctioning on the way up. Our closed bollard suction system is supposed to be more um, aseptic, which means less chances of passing um, any bacteria in the patient's airway because it's an open suction, you know, you or touching it with, with gloves on, but you have the more um, chance of introducing bacteria into the patient's airway through that system. So, we use these on our mechanical ventilated patients most times.